Okay, I think I got this. There. Aw, oh, man. Oh, hi, it's Dr. S again. We're just having some fun playing pin the glasses on Dr. Jacobs. This is a really fun, easy activity you can do at home with your family. And you can really draw anyone. It doesn't have to be Dr. Jacobs. All you need is some paper and pens. Oh, and a blindfold. You know, when you're wearing a blindfold, it really shows you just how important your sight is and how dependent on our eyes that we are. But did you know that in your vision every day, there's actually a blind spot that you don't notice and it's there all the time? Don't believe it? Well, today I'm gonna explain why we have a blind spot, what causes it, and at the end of the video, a fun little activity to show you how to find your own blind spot from home. Stay tuned. So first we're gonna have to start with a little bit of an anatomy lesson. And we kind of touched on this a little bit last week too. So I'm gonna start out by drawing a very simple version of an eye. And this is going to be as if you were a bird looking at the eye from above. So this is somebody's eye. So if we're looking at it from above, this would be their nose. Here's their other eye. So you're looking at the eye from the top and this is the back of the head and this is the front. Now, I kind of mentioned this last week, but we see with the very back of our eye. It's called the retina. So that's gonna be blue. So we see everything with our retina. Now I'm gonna draw a little object here. So let's say we see an arrow that if we were this person would be going to the right. Now you may already know this, but everything in the eye is actually projected onto the retina upside down. So we see this arrow and the way light works, it actually is on the retina upside down like that. So we have a problem here. I don't wanna be turning the wrong direction or seeing things upside down. So what ends up turning this right side up? And how do we even see things anyway? Well, this is where the blind spot comes in. It's called the optic nerve. So I'm gonna say that this right here is the center of my vision, okay? And towards the nose, so in between the inner side of the eye and the center of your vision is the optic nerve. So let me erase that here. So all the optic nerve is, it's basically a cable, kind of like a telephone wire. All it does is it sends the information from your retina that you're seeing to the brain. I won't bother drawing another bad brain this time. And your brain is then what flips the image right side up. So the optic nerve is extremely important it's carrying the information of what you're seeing to the brain so the brain can tell you exactly what you're seeing and flip it the right direction. But if you notice right here where the optic nerve is, where it starts out, there is no retina there, okay? So I'm gonna circle that spot. And where there's no retina right here, if there's no retina, then that means we can't see it in that spot. And because everything is backwards in the eye, just the way light works, if I project this spot out, it means that right about here in everybody's vision is a blind spot that you can't see anything, okay? So it's kind of like a black hole. It's just dead space. And the reason you don't notice it is first of all, it's different. It's out here in your other eye. Since they're in different spots, the other eye will fill in the missing information. And even when you close an eye, your brain is filling in that gap. Uh, with extra information, but it's it's really blind. You really can't see at that spot. So next up, I'm gonna show you how to find your own blind spot. So now I'm gonna show you how to find your own blind spot from home. All you need is a pencil. And I recommend getting one that has the little pink eraser because having that little colored spot will really make it obvious when you found your blind spot. Now what you're going to do is you're going to first cover your left eye. So I'm gonna start with my right eye because remember what I said, if we have both eyes open, the other eye is gonna fill in that information. So you have one eye open and you're gonna pick a spot across the room that's straight in your vision to look at. And you're only ever gonna look at that one spot the whole time. Next, you're gonna hold up your pencil so that the eraser is in the very center of your vision in that spot. And then you're going to slowly, while you keep looking at that same spot across the room, 
move your pencil. Oh, and the eraser just disappeared in my side vision. So I have found my blind spot. And it's about level with where my ear's at. And you might have to kind of move the pencil around a little bit. Once you found it where it's disappeared, you can even map out how big it is. So I'm going to move it down till I see. Oh, there it is again. Disappeared. And there it is again. Disappeared. There it is. And there it is. So my blind spot is about this big right here about where my ear is at. And the reason is, do you remember that I was saying that the optic nerve is more towards your nose and how everything is upside down in the eye. So in your uh, vision, it's actually more towards the outer part of your face, towards your ear. And then you can do it with your other eye. Pretty cool, huh? Who knew that there's this blind spot in our vision all the time that we just never notice? So the next time you're with your friends or family, maybe over video chat, and you're wondering what you can do, you can show them this fun little trick that they can do uh, to find their blind spot and even tell them how it works. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Dr. S.